state and federal legislators continue to be very interested in the issue of NIL. As of today, more than 20 states have enacted legislation or issued executive orders, which allows student athletes to benefit from their name, image, and likeness. And more than half of these statutes took effect July 1st. At the federal level, five bills related to NIL or to college sports more broadly have been introduced in the 117th Congress. Once a bill has been introduced in either the House or the Senate, there are several steps it must undergo before being enacted into law. It must be assigned to a committee. There may be opportunities for hearings or amendments. If it is voted out of committee, it goes to the floor for a full vote. And this process is then repeated in the opposite chamber before it can be sent to the president for his signature. Because none of the bills related to NIL have yet moved within their committee structure, it really is an opportunity for the association to continue to educate members of Congress on those priorities the Board of Governors has indicated are really needed for federal NIL legislation, ensuring federal preemption of state NIL laws, safeguarding that student athletes are student first, and provided limited safe harbor liability protections. As the association and institutions strive to provide fair competition and a level playing field for student athletes, it is incredibly important that the voices of member schools are heard. Each college or university is a constituent and a direct stakeholder to their elected officials. So your voice, the voices of coaches, student athletes, athletic directors, presidents, and all of those of you who are impacted by this issue are incredibly powerful in sharing why a national uniform solution for NIL is an imperative to best support student athletes.